I'd like to remind everybody you can buy your advance tickets for the big Christmas show tomorrow at the flea market or this Monday from noon. That's right, Barry Owen talking about the uh, Christmas night extravaganza and get your tickets. Oh, a drop kick by Rex King. Oh, I tell you, these guys have been going at each other, it seems like, for the past four weeks. And uh, going after that TV title, it's been held up, and one would have it, and one would steal it. I mean, it was all, man. But uh, they, they're going at it tonight. Look at that. Rex King using part of his shirt as a weapon against Jonathan Boyd last Saturday night. Boy, was I glad to see Jonathan Boyd Snake lose a Snake Leave Town match. We got that thing out of here. Another reminder, another reminder right now about the uh, Christmas night extravaganza. You can get your tickets starting tomorrow right here at the concession stand at the Portland Sports Arena and starting at noon on Christmas Day. You can get your tickets right here or at Sandy Bar's Flea Market right across the parking lot in that big building that he's got over there. But definitely, whatever you do, get your tickets for our Christmas night extravaganza because, uh, well, here's Veronica right here. You know, I just want you to understand, or just to let everybody know, that we aren't worried about the Texas death match. Scotty's not worried about that. No. I'm not worried about it. And I'm certainly not worried about my... Well, I'm a little worried about my hair, but, but not that worried. You know, I, well, now, uh, wait a minute. No, you should not be worried, Veronica. Well, I I'm under, not getting it cut uh, off, and that's all no, there is to I it. Have, Nothing's listen, happening to listen. my hair. Have you ever seen Grace Jones? I mean, crew cuts are really in now, I think. Get out of here. You don't no, like no, really. your hair? Really? Back up, you're breathing no, on me too no, much. Hey, no, no, no I, listen, there's something to be said for crew Get cut. Get my hair cut. It's All right. ridiculous. Rex King working on uh, Jonathan Boyd. Snakeless. No more snake out there. Veronica, and that great baby no. doll has slithered out of town. I miss baby doll a lot. She was a nice snake. I really liked her. Well, maybe you have something in common. She smelled really nice. She, she smelled nice. She smelled great. Oh, you need a nose job, Veronica. I you know, heard. I'm kind of excited about that cage match, too. How can you... All right, I, yeah, everybody's really talking about it. They're very excited about the cage match. The steel cage match, Billy Jack Haynes and Rip Oliver teaming up to go against the wrecking crew. The uh, grappler and Brian Big Adams. Brian Adams. Yes, yes. You kind of have a fondness for Big Brian Adams, don't you? Mm -hmm, yeah, I do. But it's nothing compared to what you have for Scotty the Body. No, 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 Scotty's body that, is better. And Scotty the Body is going to be, he's going to be in a Texas death match with Steve Dahl come Christmas night. And we may have a hair match, too. Uh, I don't think so. The very lovely ginger against Veronica right here. The very ugly ginger against the very luscious Veronica. And speaking of Steve Dahl, where is Steve Dahl? Possibly in the hospital? Well, I'm, su I'm surprised that he did not end up in the hospital longer than last Saturday night. He was carried out of here on a stretcher. Oh, he's home crying right now over nothing, nothing, just a little little whiplash. That's all he had, a little whiplash. Well, if... Ginger got exactly what she deserved, Steve got exactly what he deserved, and I got what I deserved, my Scotty. <laughs> that's what you deserve, that's for sure. Jonathan Boyd all over Rex King right now. Another reminder that Another next, Southern Rocker. That next Saturday night, the big Wrestle Royal with five thousand dollars on the line. Wouldn't you love to have five thousand dollars? I have more than five thousand dollars, but I can assure you that five thousand dollars will be ours. <laughs> and one more thing, to remind everybody, there is no TV next week, so you won't be able to see my lovely face on TV. So please make sure you come down and you can see my latest fashion and my latest hairstyle and, yes, and my manicure. And her manicure. Don't you like it? Oh, it's, it's, what is, that's crew cut, you got crew cuts on your nails. It's a French uh, manicure, bimbo. Uh, uh, <clears throat> hey, I want to remind everybody, not only about next Saturday and not only about Christmas night, whoa, baby, but later on, Tuesday, December the 26th, we're going to be in the St. Helens Armory. Advanced ringside tickets at Saxton's TV and Appliances. A loggers grudge match, Rip Oliver against the Grappler. Then Wednesday, December the 27th. That's in the Hillsboro Armory. Butt off, i got to do this one. Advanced ringside tickets. You can buy those at the Northwest Hunting Supplies. Also at Tito's Gym. That's right. Tag team, tag team action against Rip, Rip Oliver, DJ Peterson, Tangle. The Grappler and Big Brian Adams. This is another one of the ex exciting evening bouts. Beat El Juice, who paints his face like ginger, against Al Madrill, the Latin lover. 
Okay, and then on Thursday, December the 28th, 7 o'clock bell time, the Salem Armory is going to explode. Advanced ringside tickets of Bill Beard Sporting Goods, tag team title at stake. The tag team title, Rip Oliver and Billy Jack Haynes also go against the grappler and Brian Adams. We know who's going to get that. Uh, and the special event is my Scotty the Body against Beetlejuice, a ginger wannabe again. Yeah. Special event. It'll be special because Scotty will be there and Scotty's going to beat Beetlejuice. You know, uh, Scotty, Scotty's mouth is here tonight. His body may not be, but his mouth is here tonight. I said I got the body, but my name ain't uh, Scotty. you got Scotty's mouth. And Friday, December 29th at 8 o'clock p.m., Lake County Fairgrounds. That's Eugene. For reservations, you can call 484-0840. That's kind of like my number. Oh, I'm not going to give you Never my number. Never mind. And next Saturday night, another reminder, no television, but boy, plenty of action. Also, another reminder, 7 o'clock bell times in St. Helens, Hillsboro, and Salem. So mark that down. All right, Rex King. Rex King doing a number on Jonathan Boyd right now. Why does he tie those things all over his body like that? He is a southern rocker, Veronica. A, a southern, southern what? Rocker. A southern hillbilly? A southern oh my rocker. God. Hey, wait a minute. Why Hold it. Let's, uh, let's keep it cool here. As Rex King... Oh, man, I tell you, he is against the ring right now, the ropes. And outside, outside on the floor. Rex King got Rex to meet King. Mr. Matt. Isn't that nice of Jonathan Boyd letting Rex King meet Mr. Matt? Mr. Matt. I think that's sweet of him. Doesn't Jonathan have a wonderful physique? A nice tummy tuck. Mr. Matt. Well, I haven't heard about Mr. Matt. Nice beard. Nice uh, tattoos on his arm. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, would you like that? It, I, no. I think that look kind of good on your mouth. Some what? of those tattoos. I think that'd be great. Ladies like me don't have tattoos, cause. Mm. But unlike you, you've never had a lady like me. I would hate. I know to, you dream about. I me, would hate to tell you what ladies like you have. Maybe he's gonna meet Mr. Pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Into the into the oh, iron God. post goes Rex King. Rex King taking a vicious beating right now at the hands of Jonathan Boyd. King is outside on the mat right now. What do you mean vicious? That wasn't vicious. That was mild. That was very mild. Jonathan barely did anything at all. He, he barely even touched Rex King. Rex King just, he fell out of the ring himself. Why don't you go down there and meet Mr. Post, huh? Hey, I, uh, I think the two of you get yeah. along just great. No, I, I like sitting up here. Right and then you can have a little thing. chat with Mr. Matt. I think that'd be fantastic. All right, Rex King getting back into the ring or trying to, being met there by Jonathan Boyd. Boyd, oh, he just doesn't have rope. the strength of his stamina to stay in the ring with Jonathan Boyd. It's quite obvious. Look at this. The man's choking him. That wasn't Boyd a joke. is choking. Oh, of course it is. He's taking his pulse, making sure that he can go on with the taking match. Taking his pulse on his throat. You don't do that, Veronica. Yeah, you put it right here. Let me show you. Right, right get, there. Hey, not, somebody get this brought out of here. Wait, what? You know, my question is, we want Rex. We want Rex. What are they going to do with Rex when they get him? Huh? <laughs> they love their southern rocker, Rex King. And they love the other Southern Rockers, Steve Dahl. I heard Steve Dahl had a nose job. He's, oh, got, really? a, he's got a pointy nose. His nose is kind of like yours, as a matter. Oh, God, you might have had the same plastic surgery and it's the same mistake. Uh, all right, another reminder. Monday, Christmas night. Celebrate Christmas right here at the House of Action with that big Portland extravaganza. And Tuesday, December the 26th, St. Helens Armory. And Wednesday, December the 27th, Hillsboro Armory. Look at this. Like, hold it, hold it. Oh, yes, Boyd had Jonathan. his feet clear up on the second rope. He and, did not. Uh, yes, he, he got caught. You weren't caught even paying by, attention. He got caught by the referee. No, he did not. Okay. He tries to pull the Scotty the body Small check. bars on the wrong side. And they don't work. So the match continues. Wednesday, we said, in the Hillsboro Armory. Thursday, December 28th, at the Salem Armory. Now watch this. Wait a second. And Friday, in Eugene, look, the Lane look. County Fairgrounds. Rick all right. Oh, oh, Fight oh, fire with fire. Turn about his fair play. Nobody saw that. What are you talking about? Oh. Right? His feet were on a rope. Danny Barr never sees it when it's Rex no. King. But Rex King is being honest. He's being a man about this. Oh, man. He says, all right. A mouse. All right. I will admit my feet were on the ropes. And now uh, Boyd rolls him up into a small package. He's got to hold of his truck. Got a hold of his truck. Come on. Well, the Sandy Bar, the referee, cannot see 
everything that goes well, on. Well, Danny Byers maybe a little bit too old to be out there refereeing. Maybe somebody else should take the No, count. no, wait a minute. He did. He knew what was happening. He knew what was happening. He saw the trunks being pulled. Now, there's a roll-up. Oh, oh, there's a roll-up. Clean all the way. And the winner. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, what are you Clean. Doing? Well, that's not, that's not going to do any harm. What? Pull tight? Yeah, he pulled it tight. Tights he aren't going to... Hey, he, he, the he trunks... Cheated. He pulled the trunks. The trunks can come off. The tights not going to come off. Well, That's we're gonna we're gonna continue. Honesty prevails, at least with Rex King. Honesty so we prevails can... with Jonathan Boyd, just like Scotty the Body, just like Veronica Lane. No, no, no. Off the top rope and driving a knee into the chest Isn't of that a Rex devastating King. Devastating move by Jonathan Boyd. Uh, let's find out. How... No, now there, that's devastating. Pulling the tights again, and again, the referee oh, sees it. Now, if he were to ask Jonathan Boyd, Boyd would say, no, I didn't pull any tights. What are you talking about? I didn't. Danny Barr needs to get some of those big glasses with big black rims and Coke bottles. Wait a minute. What, what, what's Rex King going to do? He's going upstairs. He's going on the top rope. And look at this. Coming down. Oh, a fine clothesline. He's got him. He's got him out. He's got him. He's got him. One, two, three. Bingo. Just like that. Oh, come on. Let the man have it. Come on. He's not going to do any harm. And the referee... Relief. What's, what's going on? Refer, re, referee is going to call a stop to all of this. To, For what? Why is he calling it, a stop? Well, the, the guys keep pulling these tights and trunks, and they, the Rex King they just as can't seem to beat. They hey, can't. Neither one of you seem to know what rules are here for, yeah. so I'm going to give you a couple of days to think it over. The match is over. No contest. What? No contest at all. The other, Rex King is no contest for Johnny. Oh, no, a drop kick and outside. Goes oh, yeah. Jonathan Boyd. Not, what? Boyd is asking for the, the house mic. Okay. Okay, King. You can't beat me. I've proved that. I beat you in the Australian death match. And now on Christmas night, I want you. I want a two out of three fall TV title match with no holes barred. What? Except that. Let's see how much guts you got. What? And I'll put you in professional wrestling forever. Man. No holes barred TV title match. That's what. Rex King can't figure out what that means. Obviously. He knows exactly. Hey! What it How many of you people want to see me kick his ass on Christmas Day? Oh, they want that. They want that. I don't think they want I'll tell you what, boy. You want a match? No holds barred, pal. You tried to maim me in that death match last week. You tried to wreck me. You tried to ruin my career. So? Well, let me tell you something, pal. This Monday night, Christmas night. All right, the match I'm is made. Christmas night, TV title, no holes barred match. Rex King and Jonathan Boyd. We'll be back with more after this timeout.